they, they talk about the Peter Mayer effect, don't they, in the in the Lebron, you know, and that's that's what well, we always think about Peter Mayer as Provence. <laughs> that's the other irony is that actually it's not Provence; it's actually here. <laughs> that's a really good point, Richard, because particularly when you're thinking about the Roses, is you know, people have read the book or seen the movie or whatever, and they're wedded to that image. And in that, look, they don't care about the classification or the appellation or whatever. In their mind, that's the Provence. They'll see, you know, Marion Coutard and Russell Crowe prancing around, and and all the lavender fields. And to them, that's Provence. So, you know, maybe we are missing a trick when we talk about this. We don't have to talk about it being, you know, a, a, a coat de Rhone rosé. You know, it's it's the the Provence style style of rosé from you know the good year country. You know, a good year country. I mean, yeah. like, yeah. what's not to like about that? And this this is a Provencal region. I mean, there's some discussion as to kind of what is Provence. I mean, there's no kind of official definition of where Provence is. But I think Luberon could be described as in Provence. These wines are Provencal. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, it's not in AOC, Côte d'Aix-en-Provence, for example. Mm. So, um, yeah, the, we can say that these wines are Provencal, I think, quite legitimately.